The fourth sign of a really bad bike is if it has been treated poorly. Uh, and one way to really treat a bike poorly is a burnout. A burnout is incredibly stressful on the chain, sprockets, and engine components. Uh, you don't want to buy a bike that someone regularly did burnouts with. So, how do you find out? It's actually really, really easy. Take a look underneath the rear fender here, rear tire, rear fender, up there. If the bike has been through burnouts, this rear fender, this rear tire well, will be covered with little bitty rubber specks. Because when the driver was doing a burnout, the tire melted, a little speck shot off, stuck to the fender, and then uh, became hard again. These little specks are incredibly hard to wash off. They don't, uh, they don't wash off from normal soap and water. So, uh, if some maripit has been doing burnouts with this bike, there's gonna be these rubber specks all over the inside of the fender. If that's the case, if you see the specks, just ask. Uh, Did you normally do burnouts with this bike? And when they say no, just walk away. Kinetipu. The final sign of a bad used motorcycle is if it fails your test drive. So what you want to do is when you're going to buy a used motorcycle, you tell the owner you don't want him or her to start the motorcycle before you get there. You want to start the motorcycle cold. So let's, let's do that now. Bad used motorcycles don't start well. Poorly maintained motorcycles don't start well. And they don't like to idle. Uh, they take um, a little bit of throttle to idle well. They won't sit here and idle like this. When you start the motorcycle, listen to the sound. Um, does it sound smooth? Does it sound bad? Uh, does it sound healthy? or does it sound like there's something wrong? Secondly, let me turn this off real fast. Once the motorcycle's warm, you wanna take it for a test drive. Uh, you wanna ride around, you wanna listen for anything strange, and you also wanna feel. If the motorcycle pulls one way or the, or the other, it's a bad motorcycle. It's likely been wrecked or poorly maintained, so you don't wanna get that motorcycle. And then finally, when you get done with your test drive, look around from the carburetor to the cylinder to the bottom end all the way down to the drain plug and look around for fluid leaks. Before you arrive, a dishonest owner might have wiped all the oil off of the engine, but if you take it for a test drive and it has a bad leak, oil is going to come out. Even things like a loose drain plug can be a nightmare and can be very, very hard to fix. So you want to make sure that uh, there's no major leak in the coolant system, there's no major leak in the bottom of the crankcase, and finally you want to check the fluid levels. You want to make sure, like these little windows here, you want to make sure when the motorcycle is upright it has fluids in it. If the fluid levels are below the minimum, there's a chance that the motorcycle has been poorly lubricated for a long time.